A Beautiful Life, September 19th. Beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening and together make a beautiful life. And if you want to see, then come along with me, that's right. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy, R. Ellen Ingalls. And this is my life through my iPhone. Today is an exciting day. Not only am I starting my vlog, A Beautiful Life, but I'm starting it specifically today because today is the day that the iPhone 6 is coming out. Today is September 19th, 2014, the day that the iPhone 6 Plus ship. So I ordered my iPhone on September uh, the 12th, 2014, Friday morning, actually at 12 a.m. Actually, I'm in Tennessee, so I'm in Central Time. It was actually 2.01 a.m. that I pre-ordered mine. There have been rumors on all the iPhone sites that uh, the iPhone 6 Plus, specifically the one I got, is actually being delayed by quite a bit but I checked the tracking I actually got a tracking number for Verizon on mine and I checked it yesterday and it said that it was in Nashville I checked this morning and it is already in Trenton Tennessee which is like a half hour from here so it's at one of the distribution points so it should definitely be at my house sometime today it says it's out for delivery I'm so excited the iPhone is actually a big inspiration in, in doing this vlog uh, the capability of having a device in your pocket that just allows you to record anything in high definition and decent quality uh, is just amazing. As a filmmaker and a photographer and a graphic and web designer, I appreciate design and I really enjoy having a product in my pocket that can take great photos and good video. So I decided when the new iPhone came out that I would start a vlog and here it is. A beautiful life. My life through my iPhone. Other inspirations are my wife, Crystal. She has a vlog on YouTube as well called Mom Adventures where she talks about our kids and, and her life and being a mom in general. YouTube.com slash mom adventures. Also, a couple named Brian and Missy who have a little one-year-old named Ollie and a daily vlog called Daily Bumps. They're a pretty big inspiration to me too. I'm really enjoying watching their, their daily vlog. Uh, every evening with with my wife Crystal. Every episode I watch of theirs, Crystal and I will just look at each other and go, we are exactly like them, or they are exactly like us. So I just got back from getting gas in the company van, and I pulled up to a red light, and there was a truck in front of me that had a piece of rebar sticking out. Guys, if you're gonna have a piece of rebar like that, you gotta put a flag out there or something if it's gonna stick way out from the vehicle. Let somebody know it's there. I'm about to head to lunch here, and I just wanted to share with you a song that I'm really digging right now. It's called Begging for Threads by Banks. Begging for Threads was the iTunes single of the week a couple weeks ago. Uh, and ever since then, I, I downloaded it and been listening to it. It's got a really good driving beat to it. And, uh, and a really soft-spoken vocalist, Banks is. At least in this song. I haven't listened to anything else by her yet. You can look it up on Spotify. If you don't subscribe to Spotify, you can go to play.spotify.com and sign up for free and just play the song from right there in the web browser. Getting back from lunch, and I just checked the UPS website and my phone is now at my house. I can't wait to go get it. It's the end of the day and I'm finally on my way home to see my iPhone 6 Plus. I'm so excited! But before I get home, I've got to go into the Wally World and get me some chalk for a clapper board that Crystal got me. It's a little uh, board that you like the filmmakers have where they write like scene one take one and the director's name and all that stuff on it and I went in the wrong entrance why does every Walmart have to be laid out differently okay seriously where does this Walmart keep chalk some flowers I think I'm getting close though I see crafty stuff Ooh, I think I'm close pen scissors ha ah, ah. ha chalk crap that's the kind we have at home it's the super huge chalk that's not what I want. I want little chalk. Where's the little chalk? Seriously, is that all they have is the big chalk? Ah, there it is. Ah, <laughs> got it. And now that I've got the chalk, my wife texts me and says she wants me to pick up pizza on the way home. So I just talked to the pizza place and their pizza machine is actually broken. So now I have to go in and tell my kids and wife that there's no pizza tonight because the pizza machine's broke. 
Let's see how this goes. Hey. Hi. Guess what? What? Pizza machine's broken. What? Yep. All right, so the pizza man's pizza machine is broken. So we are baking pizza at the house. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Do you want to open daddy's new iPhone? A Beautiful Life, September 19th. It's time. What? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to be unboxing the iPhone 6 Plus. We are going to open this bad boy up and take a look at it. Me and my wonderful assistant here, Miss Alexis. You ready? What is that? <laughs> it is a box. You can have that part. I'm gonna see what else is in here. As always, Apple has really, really beautiful packaging for their products. It doesn't actually have a photo of the iPhone on the front, just the indention of its size. Nothing on the top or bottom at all. Extremely minimalistic packaging, even for Apple. You ready? Yeah. Let's open it up. And there it is. It is big. It is really, really big. And it is. Well, it's not on yet. You gonna see what else is in there? Okay, let's see what's up. What else is in there? So we got Apple EarPods. And don't forget that. The wall USB adapter and a lightning cable. It's really beautiful. I decided to go for the white and silver one this time instead of a black one, and I'm really happy I did. This is a really good looking phone. We're gonna power it on, you ready? Yeah. I put uh, too hard to press that button. That's not a real button, baby. Oh, uh, we can wait and wait then. I do very much like the keyboard on this. It's a little bit wider of a screen, so the keyboard is a lot easier to type on. I'm gonna give it to you in a minute. There you go, princess. Do you think it's too big or too small? This one. Is it pretty? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think? Good. Do you think Apple did a good job? Yeah. And that is the unboxing of the iPhone 6 Plus.